Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person our channel. Nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Gandang Psyche, Young Stevie, Driveway POB, Leo Makoteko, RT Likop Channel, Jusselinko Studio, Mark Alfred Mina, Heart Ponsalan, It's Mami Rose, Samutsarin Vlog, Ruby, Jade, Friendship Gold TV, Pamilya Lagan Channel, and Papa Rams Music TV. Guys, kumusta po? How did you spend our Sunday? Sana we spend it with our loved ones, no? Yung mga kapatiran natin din sa church natin. Napunta tayo sa mga churches natin at para makipag-fellowship sa, kanya, sa kanila at sa kay God, no? Okay? Let's proceed. Let's open our Bible to Philippians chapter 4 verse 10 to 20. This is about thanks for their gifts. Okay, still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used here is a simplified to make the talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Philippians 10, uh, chapter 4, verse 10 to 20 says, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you have renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you have been concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need. For I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have in plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through Christ, so gives me strength. Amen. Let's claim that, guys. Philippians 4.13. No? Okay, let's continue. Yet it, has, it was good of you to share in my troubles. Moreover, as you Philippians knew, in the early days of your acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out from Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving except you only. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me and again and again when I was in need. Not what I am looking for a gift, but I am looking for what may be credited to your account. I have received full payment and even more. I am amply supplied now that I have received from Ephroditus the gift you sent. They are a fragrant offering, an acceptable secret, sacrifice, bless, uh, blessing to God. And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory and ever. Amen and amen. Okay guys, let's pray. Father God, in this passage, there are two common verses na maklaim namin, O God. Yung verse, O God, na I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes, O God, no matter how much we work hard, if you are not there, wala rin panalangin, oh God. We feel as if we work whole day and yet when we receive that money, Lord, parang butas yung bulsa namin, oh God. Lord, in another verse also, in verse 19, you said, And my God will supply all my needs according to His riches, to His glorious riches in Christ. Yes, Lord, we claim of this, oh God, because you're the source of everything. This talk about our needs, O God, and we commit to you our needs, O Lord God. Maski yung mga viewers na dito ngayon, O God, na join sa devotional. I know they have needs, O Lord. Lord, when it comes to needs, the very basic needs na kailangan na namin is the finances. Good health, O God. Yun. Even, O God, our safety, everything belongs to you, O God. 
Lord, thank you that we can just commit our situation unto you. Pahirap ng pahirap ang buhay namin ngayon, okay? And especially uh, with this uh, effect of inflation we are suffering from this time, okay? Uh, prices are increasing. It's hard for us to really deal with it, okay? Lord, we really commit ourselves unto you. Thank you that we can... We can... Uh, Keep this, O God, na yung verse na sinabi mo in verse 19, that you're going to supply all our needs. Yes, Lord, thank you that we can commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, so our focus verse for this uh, evening is found in 1 Timothy 6, 6, and it says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. Okay, so the title of our devotional for this evening, guys, is Walk a Mole. You might know what it's like. The bills keep arriving after a medical procedure from the anesthesiologist, the surgeon, the laboratory, the facility. Yes, ito talaga yung ano, no? Mahirap pag magkasakit ang somebody in the family, especially na uh, di mo alam kung ano yung <laughs> oh, daming demand ng hospital. Kaya we really have to ask God. Of our safety. Okay, Jason experienced this after an emergency surgery. He complained, We owe thousands of dollars after insurance. If only we can get these bills paid, then life will be good and I will be content. I feel like I'm playing the arcade game, Walk a Mole, where plastic moles pop up from their holes and the player hits them wildly with a mallet. Life comes at Ask like that at times. The Apostle Paul certainly could relate. He said, I know what it is to be in it, yet he'd learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. His secret, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Kaya guys, no? Kanina, yung sa verse 13, let's claim that verse. Kasi nga si, ano, si Paul sinabi niya rin yun. Diba? When I was going through a particular discontented time, I read this on a greeting card. If it isn't here, where is it? What was a powerful reminder? That was a powerful reminder that if I'm not content here and now, what makes me think I'd be if only I were in another situation? How do we learn to rest in Jesus? Maybe it's a matter of focus, of enjoying and being thankful for the good, of learning more about faithful father, of growing in trust and patience, of reorganizing what life is about, God and not me, of asking him to teach me contentment in him. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, mas kaya ko, parang, I'm so guilty about this because it is the opposite of what uh, Paul is telling. Still, guys, no, in my in my own, my discontent pa rin na nangyayari sa buhay ko. No? Uh, lalo, lalo na kahapon, I met somebody you know, reminding me again of that, ano, kasi taga-banko siya, reminding me about that whole time. Well, I was in the mall kasi sa mall kami nakita. I was so bothered. Sabi ko, I really wanted to go home immediately and spend time and praying about this because uh, that situation is not uh, ano, uh, extraordinary. Kinabahan talaga ako, guys. Kaya nung dumati ko sa bahay, I really keep on praying. Sabi ko, Lord, what will I do with this? No, We, we cannot live without money, no? We do not love money because loving money is the root of all evil. But we need money, especially this time na grabe yung in inflation na mga, mga bilihin, di ba guys? So kaya, I, I really claim of Philippians 4.19 and my God will supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. You know? And then yung sa verse 13 din, and I claim ni Paul, no? uh, ano yung sinabi niya? I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. Yun din yung, ano, yun din yung prayer ko na, Lord, help me na I can do all things through Christ. I'm serving you. I have done many things in order to receive money, but yet still, no, uh, palpak yung, mang, yung iba. Uh, I'm so worried because yung 
ano ko yung laboratory ko, uh, follow-up exam, uh, examination, follow-up check-up, hindi pa rin natuloy. But still, I'm trusting God about this. Okay guys, let's now proceed to the two question. In what areas of your life do you need to grow in contentment? Ito siguro ko lang pa yung prayers ko, no? Hindi naman ako, ano, extravagant, no? Uh, yung nangyayari na yun na nakabaro ako ng money is that, that was the time na my father was rushed to the hospital. Of course, wala ako mag except to really uh, mag-loan talaga sa banko. Kaya... That was still 2013, no? ano, 2012. No? And until this time, sabi ko, Lord, ang, ang tagal na noon, no? pero hanggang ngayon, mag 10 years na, hindi ko pa rin na ano. Kaya, help me pray about it, guys. Help me pray about it. Hirap talaga, hirap. No? Na-stress ako, minsan hindi ako makatulog. No? Kaya, if the things happen to me, I will immediately stand up from the bed. No? Then, just uh, doing something, little things sa bahay. No? Just to forget the situation. In a way, na-commit ko naman yung kailor. Na-pray ko na rin yung kailor. Okay, second question. How might you change your focus? Well, I had done things in order to gain money, but still I'm uh, a failure on it. So, yung ano, focus ko na lang is... Papa sa Diyos ko na lang yun. Sabi ko nga sana, sabi, well, kung makulong ako, dalawin mo naman ako sa, ano, sa kulungan. <laughs> Sinabi ko yun sa, ano, sa friend ko na nag sa akin. Pero, that's not a good word. That's not a good word. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. No? That's not a good word. Kasi hinaram natin, dapat ano tayo. We have to try our best also in doing things, doing our part, no? Na mabayaran natin yung mga responsibilities natin. Ay right, guys, let's now pray. Lord, you are good and all you do is good. Teach us contentment in you. You want to learn from you. Amen and amen. Yes, guys. If you are new to this channel, I would like to ask you to please hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell all so you'll be notified that it's already 8 o'clock. It's already our time for our devotion now. Still guys, nakapin yung ano, yung GCAS number ko dyan for uh, next week na talaga. Next week na, no? Uh, birthday ko sa March 25, then sa March 26 is yung feeding. Indicate nyo guys kung ano. <laughs> was it for my birthday? Yung i-gift sa akin? Or was it for the devotion? Uh, sa... I know, sa feeding. So guys, God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Rich Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo mulit hanggang sa muli. Paalam!